coming for our master. You must get it. Five hundred years. I have rebuilt the temple. Now it's grander in scope. All those monks consumed by the fire turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures, piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always knew. One day you shall return!
Some cheap tricks. Meet me at the summit if you dare! <laughs> the spell he just cast may appear intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs>
to reward whoever <laughs> Thank you. 
He once told me, out of sight, out of mind is a fool's task. Seeing but seeing through is what wise men do. But didn't he turn mad by what he saw too? <laughs> Just a pawn of the Celestial Court, if given a choice, 
Who dared to challenge the mighty wrecker of the Celestial Palace? His words ring true. No matter how daring he was, he had not the nerve to harm the great sage. There must be someone else pulling all the strings. Exactly. And this thing is eerie. I have no idea how to make use of its power. Except to enshrine it up there, tricking lesser Yaoguais into offerings. If you pardon me, I'll go back to Guanlin to atone for my actions and be put back on the engaging band. You will never see me out there anymore. No, oh, ignore his nonsense. Go now, little monkey. Go and retrieve the great sage's relic.百卷起，千般缘，色与空，看之间，轮回路，有万次千，求不得。闭上眼，一生功名忙如烟，浮沉落花。究竟寻常事，有情处不远。是宝，却方便。修行路，无名尽。看懂事，莫等闲。一生功名，情如烟。最不忍我在少年，最是烟火青。Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold 
should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinshe still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya, how shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that Kasaya was merely the eleventh. Fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. Which deities do most abound upon the earth? The Keepers, surely. Though humble in rank, nothing in the mortal world escapes their eyes. You'd be wise not to spurn their kind, for who knows what powers stand behind them. 